All right, so it seems like you guys really liked the last video I did where I kind of showed you an FL Studio secret to recording vocals. But in that video, I used all stock plugins, and I noticed there are a few comments of you guys asking me to do it with Waves plugins, and that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to show you how to mix with some of the most basic Waves plugins and the most popular ones. So if you didn't watch the last video, I did show you guys like a secret. It's not really a secret. It's just called track mode that I use in FL Studio, and I really think everyone should use it when recording vocals because it just makes understanding where your vocals are routed to much, much easier. So I do recommend to go watch that video because I go way more in depth of explaining how track mode actually Actually works but in this video we are going to go over that a bit as well but just not as in depth so if you have fl studio and you have waves plugins this is going to be a great video for you if you want to learn how to use them and how to mix vocals specifically like we're going to go for that yeet style but you could realistically bend these rules and make it work for any vocal artist ever so without any further ado let's jump into fl studio and get started all right so i got an empty template of fl studio pulled up here and the first thing we're going to do is just go find a beat so i'm going to go on youtube and just find some kind of random beat all right so i found a yeet type beat and i have it in my downloads so first thing we're going to do is just go to my downloads folder and the way you want to drag it in is drag it over the track header which is where it says like track one right here and then it's going to bring up this menu and you're just going to do audio tracks and what this does is it's going to auto link it to this mix track right here for some reason it didn't go to number one so i'm just going to hit alt left arrow on my keyboard bring it over here and then i'm going to hit f2 rename this to beat and i always make my beat red so now we got our beat track down and the first thing I like to do is just gain stage this a little bit. So I'm going to pull the volume down just because I want some headroom when we go to master a little bit later. So now what we could do is just right click this plus button right here. And that's going to create another track that's linked to insert number three. But we're going to move it over again. Click F2 on our keyboard and, main, and name this main vocal. Then I usually make my main vocal blue. But you could use any color, obviously. And now we have an audio track that's linked to our mixer track. Like I said, this is called track mode, which just makes it so much easier to understand where everything is routed. And you could also use these buttons right here, which makes it super easy for actually comping vocals in FL Studio. So now what I'm gonna do is actually activate my mic, and then we're gonna start adding effects. I'm gonna do it this way, just so you can see what these effects are doing to my voice live. All right, so now you're hearing my voice through FL Studio. The first thing we're gonna add is Auto-Tune Pro, or actually Artist. And then we're just gonna set it to Alter Tenor. And then uh, let's find the key of this song. Probably in here somewhere. Yeah, 140 B minor. So that's perfect. So we're going to go back into auto tune and just put the retune speed all the way up and set it to B minor. So now we got the key set, which is perfect. And the BPM is 140, but since it's an MP3, there's going to be silence in the middle. So I'm going to click S on my keyboard, hold Alt, and just drag it back to on time. This looks about perfect. Then we're going to move on to my chain. So the first thing I add is NS1, which is basically just a noise suppressor. So as you can see, that removed all of the background sound. I don't know if you could really hear it. If you have headphones on, you should notice it right away. But I'm just going to bring it up to around here. And then the one plugin that we're using that's not Waves is FabFilter. So I'm just going to add that on. And we're going to go to this vocal preset. And then I'm just going to pull out some more of the low end. Kind of do that kind of shelf. And then usually I would do an EQ sweep but I'm not gonna do that yet. I like to do that at the end of mixing. So the next thing we're gonna add is an R compressor. And then we're gonna set the release pretty quick and the attack pretty quick as well, but just a little bit slower than the release. And we might adjust this later, but we're gonna go four to one for the ratio. And then I'm gonna set the threshold just wherever my voice is sitting. We might have to adjust this later too. But as you can see, now we're starting to get some compression. Now I'm gonna add the SSL channel, uh, SSL channel stereo which is just another EQ, but it just sounds pretty damn good in my opinion. We're gonna boost some of the highs. I like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe even a little bit more. Boost some of those high mids. I'm gonna take out some of the low mids and take out a lot of the lows. Let it sit around here. Yeah, this sounds about good. So now we're starting to get that vocal. It's really starting to sound like a like edged out vocal. So this is kind of where my chain gets a bit weird. This is where I like to add my de-esser. Some people might usually go like, put their de-esser before the first compressor. But I like my de-esser here. So I'm going to grab uh, the de-esser by Waves. And we're just going to adjust the threshold until it is activating just a bit. All right, so now we're going to get rid of some of those S's so they're not as harsh. And now we're going to get the CLA-76. I like to change this to bluey. I don't know if it actually does anything. I'm sure it does something. But uh, that's just how I learned to use it. Set the attack right at the midpoint and release a lot faster. 
And then let's just adjust this. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, I like it. I'm in a bag of the band. And then one more plugin that we're going to use that is not Waves is Fresh Hair, but this is free. And it's just like a saturator. And it just sounds really good in my opinion. So let's just bring it up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, uh, you, you can't even have. All right. And then now we're just, I always use a Fruity Flangus just to add a uh, little like stereo effect kind of. Just sounds good. I keep it really low at like 12%. And it just adds a little flair to the vocal. So now we're almost set. Um, let's see. So now we got to make a reverb and delay. You know what? I'm going to bring this de up a little bit because this is really harsh. Yeah, set, yeah I, this is really... There we go. So now it's way less harsh. But now these two tracks right here, three and four, we're going to make a reverb and delay. So I'm going to click F2, call this verb. And I'll just make it like green. And this one will make it delay. And let's make this oh, this weird blue. And then you just control click on these. Oops, not control click. Let's bring that back to the master. And then you're going to hit alt, shift, and just click both of these. And now they're going to be linked. And you'll control the amount of reverb with this button right here, or this knob. So now let's actually add a delay. Um, I usually use Valhalla, but I guess for this video, we'll use our verb, which is a great delay, or I mean, a a great reverb as well. Um, so for this reverb, we're going to go for something pretty long. So I'm going to bring the time up to about four, maybe some diffusion and the size already up. Let's see how this sounds. Yeah. 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 Let me bring out some of the low. Yeah. 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 All right. And then let's get H delay going as well. I'm gonna set this to ping pong, one fourth, just bring the feedback down a bit and then turn the analog off. And maybe a little high pass filter. And then I also like to add a fruity chorus on my delay. Makes it sound really good. And maybe bring the mix down a bit. Let's see how this sounds. Yeah. 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 All right, there we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. So let me mute the delay and reverb. So what I'm gonna do is select both of these by holding control and just dragging over with the mouse and then we're going to hit alt left so now we have a spot open right here and i'm going to control click on this one so now it's getting routed into this as well just so now we have some room for adding some actually we didn't even have to do that but we'll just keep it there just in case this basically just gives you room for more inserts but what i'm going to add now is the l1 limiter and in my opinion this is how you really get that eat effect it really like smashes the vocal so there's like no dynamics but in my opinion, I don't think there are a lot of dynamics at all in the Yeet vocal. So what I'm going to do is just bring this link knob down a bit. This is going to really smash it. And then if you want it louder, you just bring the threshold up and you can get real loud. But we don't have to do that. Let's bring this link knob down. And I'm actually going to bring this de-esser up a bit because these are still pretty damn harsh. Maybe bring this up a little bit as well. Yeah. Yeah. Now we should be pretty much set to record. Oh, now we have to. So since we brought the vocal into this second insert, we're going to have to reapply the reverb. So we're going to hit shift alt again on this second track. And just bring in some reverb and delay. Yeah. This is. Uh, 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 oh, my God. Yeah. All right. So I want this vocal a bit louder, but I'm liking how it sounds. Let's also bring in the fruity flangus a little bit more. I'm going to mute this again. I'm also going to name the second track main vocal two or dash two, just so we know what's going on here. And then I'm also going to make a new effect called, we'll just call this the yeet FX. Let's uh, color this I don't know, purple. And then I'm just going to add auto tune uh, artist. We're going to take the retune speed all the way off and then the transpose all the way up. And we go to the second vocal, the second part of the main vocal, and hit Alt Shift on our keyboard and bring this in. And then as you slowly bring this in, you see you're going to get the eat effect. Yeah. Uh, I'm in. Uh, uh, I'm in. Uh. There, we go. there we go. Now we got the eat vocal. So record, record. I'm going to keep the metronome on because the intro for this is a little bit interesting. It's a little bit hard to catch a, catch a beat. Yeah, I'm talking about me, I'm insane. Yeah, talk about it just like I'm insane. When you talk like that, you know that I'm insane. 
I ain't going out like that, I just kept my breath I just put this diamond on my wrist, now I'ma fly You can't even move like this, you know that I'm insane All right, so since this is the main vocal, what I'm gonna do is right click and add a separator. Oh, not in this one, uh, this track actually. So now we know this is a main vocal. And then also let's add a separator on the beat, or actually this one. So so now we got this. Now we're gonna make the ad lib track. So I'm just gonna right, or so I'm just gonna click F2 on this track, call it ad libs. Actually, it doesn't even matter because we're gonna copy this, just drag it over, and. Name this ad libs now, and then alt shift on these three effects. And let's just bring in some reverb delay and a little bit of this. And the thing, well, the one thing we're going to change on the ad libs is I'm just going to bring this flangus up a bit, and then we should pretty much be set. So now I'm just going to right click on this track, go to track mode, audio track, and go to the ad libs. So now it's linked. Let's just recolor this. All right, and then I'm going to turn the ad-lib track on now. Yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah. You can't even move like this, you know that I'm insane. Duplicate this over. And these are just some ad libs that I'm doing. And now we're gonna go back in with the verse. So I switch to the main one. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, 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 huh, yeah, yeah. Try to pack that, switch it up. Can't understand what I did. Uh, all these pussy ass little kids try to copy what I just did. Yeah, stand up, you little bitch ass. Go ahead, say it with your chest. You wanna pull up, send a little threat, you little bitch ass in the day. Yeah, yeah. Twins really did a damage, yeah, yeah. I really ain't from this planet, yeah, yeah. My AR told me blam it, yeah, yeah. Pull up, I'ma do the wagon. AR told me blam it, yeah, yeah. Pull up, I'ma do the bitch ass in the day, yeah, yeah. My twins really did a damage, yeah, yeah. I really ain't from this planet, yeah, yeah. My AR told me blam it, yeah, yeah. AR told me blam it, yeah, yeah. Pull up, I'ma do the wagon, yeah, yeah. Pull up, I'ma do the wagon, do the wagon. Yeah, I'ma go stack it up till the shit hits the top. I got all these little babies trying to get up on my cock. Bought me a little bit and now the bitch coming in like that. I don't really give a fuck. You pull up, I'ma hit your ass, get wet, yeah. <laughs> I was right up on my wrist, yeah Baby just wanna go kiss, yeah I'ma go get it all in, yeah I'm in a bit like this I got a new Bentley, been taking Riding right around over the line, yeah Skirt that bitch like I don't give a fuck what you wanna talk about, yeah I'm stacking my money and you wanna come in my house, hold on, yeah I got all this money, I'll just be stacking it up to the block, yeah, yeah I'm on the block with my Glock and I gotta go bye bye the bow, yeah why you wanna talk like that? Why you talk like this? Yeah, huh, huh. I got these diamonds, they sitting right up on my wrist. Purple diamond, black about you. Fuck it up, I never die. Bye. All right, so that is pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. That's uh, how you use Waves plugins. I think this turned out pretty good. So I'm kind of getting over a cold right now, so my voice is like a bit nasally, which is that's kind of why it sounds like a little sharp in the high end. But yeah, if you guys want a more better version of this preset, then I'm going to have that link down below. I got the Yeet template, which is pretty much what I use in like every video. And it's very similar to this, but in my opinion, probably a little bit better. Also, I'm going to upload this song to SoundCloud if you guys want that. So just leave a comment. Let me know if you guys want this uploaded on SoundCloud. Yeah, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces. Yeah, I'm going to go stack it up to the shit is the time. I got all these little babies trying to get up on my cock. Bought me a little bit and now the bitch coming in like that I don't really give a fuck, you pull up, I'ma hit your ass, get wet, yeah <laughs> Diamonds right up on my wrist, yeah Baby just wanna go kiss, yeah I'ma go get it all in, yeah I'm in the bit like this I got a new Bentley, been taking Riding right around over the line, yeah Skirt that bitch like I don't give a fuck what you wanna talk about, yeah I 
stacking my money and you wanna come in my house. Hold on, yeah. I got all this money, I just be stacking it up to the block. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the block with my Glock and I gotta go bye bye the bow. Yeah. Why you wanna talk like that? Why you talk like this? Yeah. Huh, huh. I got these diamonds, they sitting right up on my wrist. Purple diamonds, black about. Yeah. Fuck it up, I'm about to 